A new motion has been filed in the murder case of a Sullivan County toddler. Megan Boswell's attorney wants her to be allowed to wear civilian clothes for future court proceedings. Boswell is accused of murdering her 15-month-old daughter, Evelyn Boswell, who was the center of an Amber Alert in February of 2020. The girl's body was found on a family member's property the following month. Now, this is the first motion that's been filed by Gene Scott. This is Megan Boswell's newly appointed attorney. He was just put on this case back in October after her first court appointed attorney, Brad Sproles, withdrew from her case. This motion is asking for Boswell to be able to wear regular clothes for her court proceedings going forward, not just for that jury trial. Now, she and her attorney say that this is mainly because of the publicity and the media attention, saying, quote, there are television cameras at every one of the defense defendant's court appearances and her court appearances are live streamed on the internet. They go on to argue that if she can't wear normal clothes, quote, thousands of people, some of whom may be potential jurors, will continue to see her dressed in her jail jumpsuit and the danger of unfair negative in inferences being made will be ever present, end quote. Now, this motion assigns several U.S. and Tennessee state court cases over the 14th Amendment and right to a fair trial. It pulls quotes from those proceedings about the clothing worn by the accused, and it also explains how it can impact a juror's judgment. This also acknowledges that these cases generally refer to the jury trial, but again, they argue that because of the amount of attention this case has gotten, Megan Boswell should be able to wear street clothes for all of her future proceedings. We did reach out to her attorney for comment on the filing, and he told us today that he isn't ready to make a statement on this motion just yet. Now, Boswell is scheduled to appear in court next Wednesday. That's December the 14th at 9 a.m. That's expected to be an announcement hearing, and it's unclear when this motion will be ruled on.